Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I just got finished doing a run this morning. I woke up, went outside, but it ended up being a lot colder than I was expecting because it's very, very windy. I can feel the sun is strong. It should warm up throughout the day, but it's very windy. It's like when you start sweating, then like the sweat that's exposed, like my back was sweaty, but like my arms and my legs and my neck and stuff, the wind would like freeze my sweat and it would just make me more cold. So it was kind of like not very enjoyable, but still it was a really good run. Pretty tired. So I'm gonna go shower and then I need to edit yesterday's video. And then I'm heading out. I'm gonna have a lot of things to do today. And I know Alex is gonna hang out with her grandma. They're gonna do some baking and stuff. So that's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna go shower and then I'm gonna get changed. What's up guys? I am headed out now. I have a breakfast to go to this morning and then I have uh, an award show with the swim team and then I have a dinner with my swimmers after the award show because normally at the award show we would have dinner uh, with the swim team. But what's been happening over the last few years is that it's been getting really, really long. Like I think there's 600 tickets sold tonight, plus the coaching staff and all that stuff. So that's a lot of people, and they used to give dinner to every single person. Like we'd order like um, like a caterer kind of thing, and then everyone would have dinner. We'd have like a movie, slideshow, not a full movie, but like a, a homemade kind of movie, like slideshow thing. And, uh, and then we'd go through the awards, we do the awards one at a time, and it, like it just, it would take so long. It was like a five hour thing and it would cost a lot of money and all this stuff. So the club decided to like sort of condense it down and now they're doing like no food and just sort of like in, do the awards, have a little bit of a slideshow, much smaller and then sort of done. Try to keep it like within the two hour range. So because there's no food and stuff and it's more in the afternoon, a lot of the coaches are taking their swimmers out for dinner after, so we're gonna go out for dinner. My group's going out, so I'm doing that. And then after that, I'll be back home with Alex and then tonight, uh, probably my brother coming over to watch Game of Thrones. Typical Sunday, I think Alex's grandmother's coming over again, having dinner. So today's gonna be a little bit of a busy day, a lot of driving around, but I gotta drive to my sister's for breakfast, then I gotta drive back to the West Island, get changed, go to the award show, drive to the restaurant, drive back to Alex's. It's gonna be a lot of back and forth, a few different things to do, but it's, uh, it's a Sunday, it's relaxing. So I'm just heading to the grocery store now because I gotta pick something up for breakfast. Uh, I'm picking up some fruit, I'm gonna bring some fruit because everyone's sort of bringing something and uh, I decided to bring fruit, that's what I decided to bring. So I'm gonna pick that up at the grocery store, then head over to my sister's, and yeah, gonna get started on the day. Patches, are we going for a walk? Are we going for a walk, baby? Oh, he's so big. Look at this in the mirror. Patches, look how tall he is. Yeah, he's my big boy. I can literally sit on him like a horse. <laughs> I don't wanna hurt him though. What a big boy. What a good boy. So cute. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yes. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. So handsome. He's so oh, he's pushing me. He wants to go. <laughs> Patches, are we going for a walk? Guys, look how awkward looking I was when I was like 10. My teeth. Lol. Kyla was so cute. And then there's me, like, help. My freaking buck teeth. <laughs> I think there's another funny one in here somewhere. No. Okay guys, what is up? I just got home from my sister's, finished brunch this morning. It was really nice and lots of really good food. Oh my God, we had like French toast, pancakes, eggs, bacon, scones, tons of things, juice. Oh, fruit, it was really good. Uh, now I gotta get changed, I'm headed off to the awards gala with my swim team, which I think is gonna be pretty fun. We gotta get semi-dressed up, it's semi-formal, plus it's at a hotel this year. Normally we do it at the arena across the street, but uh, this year the arena has two arenas. One of them's closed for repairs, so the other one's staying with ice all summer, whereas normally one stays with ice, one like they melt down and it's just normal. So we go on there and we set it up, but this time we have to go to a hotel which is gonna be interesting, gonna be a little bit different, but I'm excited, I think it's gonna be fun, and after that, like I said, I'm going out for dinner with my group, but I'm gonna get changed now, and then I'm gonna head out. So if you guys couldn't tell from before, I'm just at my grandma's house right now, and my uncle was over, and we were just talking about my work and stuff like that, and like YouTube and everything, and I was saying how sometimes I get these, not urges, but I, I get these ideas to film these specific type of videos, and a few times I've mentioned them before in my vlogs or whatever, and a lot of people are like, oh, I don't really know how I'd feel about that. Like, maybe do that on, like, a different channel. Like, I don't really want to see that. So I was telling him how sometimes I want to do something, but then I feel like no one's going to like it, so what's the point of making it? So then I'm always torn, like, should I do something because people want to see it, or should I do it because I like it and, like, doesn't really matter, even if no one's going to, like, want to watch it? And he said, like, the 
the better thing to do, obviously, is just to do things that you like because he knows people that have, you know, struggled with that to, you know, even just musicians or whatever, trying to come up with albums or records that they think are going to sell so they can get their voice out there. But, you know, when it comes to what you like or, oh, this is the example he gave. He said he went into an art museum with his wife and my aunt. I don't know why I said his wife. <laughs> She's my aunt and his wife. And they were, he was asking the woman who worked there, like, what kind of thing should I make? Because he wanted to, like, start selling stuff. He's like, what's, like, current? What's new? What do you think would, like, do well? And she looked at him. She's like, don't think like that. She's like, you just make the best painting you can make. Just do the best thing you can do that you love and it'll sell because you work super hard on it. And he's like, same thing with your videos. If you put in the time and effort and you are obsessed with this thing, you work so hard, you're so passionate, you love it so much, the audience for that will come. You don't have to do it for a specific audience. You do it for yourself and the audience for that work will come because it's good, because you love it and you're passionate about it, so you make it good. And I thought that was really cool. I like that because it's true. Like maybe it's not for this specific audience, but if I'm so passionate about doing this one thing, and I just like focus all my effort onto it and I just love it so much and I make it so good because you know it's I'm passionate about it then the audience for it will come and I like that he said that so that was something to think about all right guys we're getting ready to watch Game of Thrones are you excited Alex sure we also ordered pizza because <laughs> Tim has never tried pizza capital I've never had pizza capital no. so he's gonna try it out for the first time we're gonna see how it goes any predictions for tonight I'm really excited for the Arya story arc yeah we'll have to see I mean Okay, wait, spoilers, click ahead if you don't watch, or if you yeah. watch the show. But yeah, I'm excited for that too. I don't know, I have a, have a feeling it wasn't her. A double mask situation where like one person was wearing a mask and the other person was also wearing a mask. Yeah, that's what I think too. Or, or Arya actually was stabbed and she's gonna go like meet up with the actors and, and the actresses. Yeah, lady. something. Uh, and the people also have been saying that uh, her old sword trainer the, like, is is uh, there? No, but he died. Next, well, he, he didn't. We didn't see him die. No, we heard him fight people. He died. Like, he had to fight like three people with a sword. So he maybe he could have survived. But people say that his shadow was like looked like it was the shadow of the person that was behind the uh, the the way. Yeah. So there's, I there's a whole it. bunch of there's a whole bunch of things, but yeah, we don't know what's gonna happen. Either way, she's there's no way she's gonna die because she's been alone for like two seasons and two books. There's no way they would just kill her just off. Just kill like, her off. Yeah. I mean, he could. He's done stuff like that before, but I don't see why he would but do that. No, yeah, there's no plot. Like it wouldn't it wouldn't thicken the plot. It would just yeah. be like, oh goodbye. It would be like a waste. Yeah. Anyway, show starts in a few minutes. Pizza should be here any minute. We'll uh, give our thoughts on the episode when it's done. All right, pretty good episode overall. Um, I thought, I thought, I, like you can definitely tell it's building up to the last two episodes, or maybe even just the last episode. You can tell like it's really starting to build, and it's sort of setting up for the end. Uh, I'm trying to say like as much as I can without spoiling anything. There is one part of the show that's really bugging me, and I don't know why they've gone this route. Maybe they're just waiting. But again, spoilers if you don't want to listen, either mute or skip ahead. Um, I don't like what they're doing with Jamie in the show because in the books he ever since he gets captured and he's with Brienne and he, he makes the oath to, to Catelyn Stark he goes through a huge like character arc transition where he, he's moving away from his love for Cersei and he's turning into a noble man and an honorable man and not you know like like the same old Jamie from the beginning of the story and then when he's in the Riverlands trying to take over River Run he receives a letter from Cersei saying like help me help me help me I need your help you know I, I I'm gonna lose I'm gonna die I'm gonna get captured and he like decides to ignore the letter and he, he destroys it and he's, he doesn't want to go help his sister which is like a huge moment and in this show like he's still being obsessed with her I don't understand why they're going that way I feel like it takes away all of his character development it's kind of annoying because in the books he's He's like a really nice character now and he's he's developing nicely and now he's just the same old douche which is weird because he's gone through all these weird oaths and stuff anyways maybe like his daughter died in the show and it's like he didn't change him i don't know anyways uh still a really good episode i'm excited for next week and the week after i think the end of the season is going to be really really good but i am exhausted I'm gonna go to sleep and we'll finish the video tomorrow morning because i'm just like too tired to even think i'm i can't even like talk right now i'm exhausted so we'll say good night, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Welcome back. I'm headed off to work. Oh, I'm so tired though this morning. Waking up was a real struggle this morning. Oh, sometimes it just has these mornings where I really needed to sleep in, but you gotta do it. Gotta do uh, 
You gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta get to work, but I'm gonna go coach, and then when I come home, uh, normally I work out right away after on, on Mondays when I coach, but I, I'm just, I'm too tired today, so I'm gonna coach, come home, edit, probably take a nice long nap, and then after that I'll go work out because I am too tired. Oh, oh excuse me. So yeah, I'm too tired to work out right away after coaching, and yeah, I need to go back to sleep later. But I also need to edit, so. <sighs> but I'm gonna go to work, and I'll see you guys in a little bit back at Alex's. All right guys, that's gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you click subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Today's gonna be a nice day. It looks pretty sunny outside, but Alex just said that it is probably gonna rain, so. Later in the evening, afternoon. Yeah, hopefully it only rains way later so we can do stuff today, this afternoon, but we will see. Weather's been crap. Yes, that's for sure. Hope you guys have a wonderful day though, and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.